Today's farmers currently feed 7 billion people. These 7 billion people, soon to be 9 billion, require a safe, sustainable, and secure food system. One threat to the integrity of our food system is the fact that the success of our food production depends largely on local, regional, and global weather. While it is obvious our farming systems have adapted to the impacts of weather and climate over time through better housing, genetics, diet, and management, rapid changes in the climate and more intense or frequent extreme weather events could significantly disrupt our current farming system. Hi, my name is David Schmidt, and I'm one of several researchers, educators, and practitioners who have come together to develop an online course to explore this critical issue of animal agriculture and climate change. This four-week course is divided into seven individual lessons, all of which can be completed in about 12 to 15 hours. The course is completely online and contains several recorded lectures and supplemental reading material. Competency on all the lessons will be assessed through online quizzes and short essays designed to further enhance your knowledge on the topic. We begin with an overview of how the climate has changed over time, answering such questions as, what are the current weather trends, and is the weather hotter or cooler wetter or drier than it has been in the past. We will then study how climate and weather changes impact animal agriculture. Heat stress is one of the big impacts, but heat stress is not the only issue. Next, we will examine how farmers have adapted to climate and weather over time and offer other adaptation strategies to help minimize the impacts of current and future weather trends. In lesson four, we will discuss the complex science of our climate system. We will look at both the natural and human factors that influence climate and what many scientists expect our climate to be like in the next 10 to 30 years. Lesson five takes a close look at the relationship between animal agriculture and greenhouse gas emissions. We will be answering questions such as, is animal agriculture a significant contributor of greenhouse gas emissions? And if so, where are those emissions coming from and what can farmers do to mitigate them? In Lesson 6, we outline some of the proposed regulatory programs related to climate change and discuss how farmers might be impacted, both positive and negative, from these potential regulatory programs. Does GMO, BST, odor, or organic call to mind challenging educational topics? The term climate change presents a similar educational challenge. Educating on controversial topics requires us to present the best available science on the subject, but presenting the science is not always enough. In this final lesson, we will answer such questions as, what are some successful strategies for discussing climate change in my programming? Those who successfully complete the course will be awarded a certificate of completion. In addition, the course has been pre-approved for continuing education credits with participating organizations listed in the course brochure and on the course website. On behalf of all the course instructors, I would like to thank you for your interest on this very important topic. If you would like more information on this course or on this project, please visit the website listed below. Thank you.